Uh, because the way you set up the table is so that in order to access certain elements, you have to have a certain degree of uniqueness among those elements or among those rows. So the primary key allows us to, cre uh, to create this uniqueness between uh, rows in a table. <coughs> yeah, so this is more on what I talked about earlier. Um, there are other data types that you can put. Uh, we talked about integer, bar char, and decimal. There's something called a double and a float, which are sort of more computer science-y terms. Um, but essentially what they mean uh, is that an integer, or the size of an or double is the double the size of an integer, meaning that integers have like a cap space uh, in the number system. They have like a range from, I believe, negative 65536 to positive 65536. And um, any number beyond that is going to sort of void uniqueness among the IDs or numbers or something like that. So doubles allow you to give double the range of that specified column. And uh, floats are numbers. Doubles and decimals. Floats and decimals. Oh, that's it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, all right. Um, Double. Okay. Doubles yeah. and floats are decimals. Yes. Floats are like decimals, like like floats. which are just sort of larger uh, containers for text. Um, bar charts have like a limit, uh, usually depending on the database that you use. Um, I forget what the sort of maximum capacity is for MySQL, but each database has its own limit on the size of a bar char or its equivalent of a bar char. And usually it just um, contains two values, either true or false. So we're going to go through an example uh, where we model relationships. Okay, so um, one example we're going to use is the relationship between boyfriends and girlfriends. And uh, as we can see here, we have two tables, a girlfriend's table and a boyfriend's table. And the girlfriend's table has two columns. One is the girlfriend ID and the name of the girlfriend. And the boyfriend's table has a boyfriend ID along with the name of the boyfriend. And something really cool here called, uh, which is a girlfriend ID. So basically the, the girlfriend that this boyfriend belongs to. And, <laughs> all right, so um, what's really interesting about this is that it's something called a foreign key. Meaning that this, this column right here references this column over here. And, what that allows us to do is tie in these two tables together so we know which uh, who or which boyfriend is matched with which girlfriend. So um, of course in this case, if we try to look at the table and we match this girlfriend ID 3 to 1 over here, we can see that Jane is matched up with Bob. All right, uh, so now that I've shown you like a sort of short example, I'd like to give you some more terminology. Uh, so we talked about primary keys. The primary keys have to be unique within um, a table, meaning that there can't be any duplicates in the rows. And um, primary keys can also consist of just not only one column, but multiple columns. And in a foreign key, uh, what a foreign key does is allows us to tie in uh, one table's um, data to another table's primary key, or, yeah. All right, so uh, here we have another example where um, it's a little bit, it's a little bit different than what you saw earlier, where we had, had like basically one boyfriend to one girlfriend. 
In this case, we can see like a mapping where we have one girlfriend having multiple boyfriends. Um, so in this case, Portia is uh, has Kensington and Billy as a boyfriend. And um, what's interesting about this is it sort of models uh, what we call in the databases a many-to-many -many relationship. And many-to-many -many means that one Oh, sorry. In this case, it's one to many, uh, not necessarily many to many yet. But it's one to many in that you have um, sort of one one row over here that maps to many values on this side. And um, you could also imagine that if you had Bob uh, map to Jessica and Portia, that would also be a one to many relationship. And in the case of a many to many relationship. Um, it would mean something like Jessica is mapped to Kensington and Bob, and Bob is mapped to Jessica and Portia. Does that make sense, the many-to-many -many relationship? Can you raise your hand if many-to-many -many relationships make sense? Okay. For the people who didn't raise their hands, do you guys have questions that you might want to ask? Or are you not in this detail? Okay. Um, so John, can you show us how you would specify many different relationships? Uh, what do you mean by specify? Alright, so suppose Bob has a relationship with Jessica and Portia. And the girlfriend I gave you say uh, one comma two to Bob. So Bob's uh, Jessica and The way this table works is um, a little not not necessarily because because this is a four key. Yeah. Um, they can only contain one mapping to something over here. Um, so, so my example of where like you had a many-to-many, one-to-many relationship in the other direction uh, wouldn't work for this case though. How would you create a second table? You could create a second table which sort of establishes the relationships among boyfriend and girlfriends. And we're going to get to that in a couple of slides. Okay. Just like add a of the ID column? So yeah, I mean, alternatively, you can do that and not have that deal. Um, so here's an example of uh, what we have this in. This is the sort of problem where we want to map multiple or one boyfriend to multiple girlfriends. In this case, we can't really do that because of the way the data is structured. So, in the next slide. What we do is we have a relationships table, um, which specifies the interrelationships between girlfriends and boyfriends. Um, so, in this case, uh, we have Portia and Kensington, which are paired here, and Portia and Billy, which uh, map to here, and then uh, Bob has two girlfriends, Jane and Jessica, over here and here. And so this table allows us to specify the many-to-many -many relationship uh, that I was talking about. Right, make sense? So yep. would the middle chart be like being separate from yeah, the middle chart would be a, an extra table, um, in this case called the relationship table. Okay, let's specify those things. So yeah, um, basically an overview of what we talked about. Uh, we have one to many relationships where we had uh, one girlfriend who could have multiple boyfriends, and we had many to many relationships where multiple girlfriends could have one boyfriend and one girlfriend could have multiple boyfriends. So now we're going to talk about uh, how we create these databases. Um, much of the time, if um, for most of the hosting services that you get, you can access this tool called PHP My Admin, and it allows you to uh, interact with databases in a more uh, user interface way. 
Um, typically, when you talk to databases, you would do like a lot of um, SQL queries. Uh, in this case, we have the SQL query right here, which is select star from bear startup and then limit, um, which I didn't talk about because uh, it's kind of a little um, advanced. So um, basically, my point is that this tool allows you to interact with databases um, in a way that's usually a lot easier and a lot more friendly than um, writing words and code. This is just a general, uh, more generalized uh, syntax for CRUD. Um, we have the create statement where you insert into a table and you specify a field or fields along with um, the corresponding values. And in a read, you have a select statement where you can select um, either all fields or a select number of fields. And the way to select all fields is to add, just add an asterisk, asterisk to the uh, fields section of the select statement. And what that allows you to do is select every single column. And by selecting specific columns, you're able to sort of truncate uh, the table so that, let's just say you only want to see the names of the boyfriend and girlfriends, you can just select the name from the boyfriend table and the girl, the name from the boyfriend table. And uh, it would only re give results so that you only see those two columns. Uh, and you select it from either one table or multiple tables and they're separated by commas. And you have, have a condition um, and this is not necessary uh, when you have selects. You can just say select uh, star from table or tables, and it will spit you out all the tables along with the, um, the relationship along with. But uh, in the case where we had that one-to-many relationship, uh, where you had uh, one, uh, one girlfriend to many boyfriends, you'd be able to select, um, you would have to, in order to find out which couples are um, existing, what you would have to do is select from both tables, the boyfriend and the girlfriend table, and you would have to make sure that the condition is met so that the girlfriend ID, here, let me go back. So you would have to select to make sure that the girlfriend ID here is equal to the girlfriend ID on this side. And that'll uh, result in the mappings between boyfriend and girlfriends. Uh, the other thing is an update which takes in a single table and um, it's sort of very similar to the insert into statement except that it's updating. And um, you have a delete uh, where you can delete a row from a table and uh, it's the way you delete a row is you specify a certain condition which sat satisfies uh, that row and that row only. So here we have um, another example uh, where we have a students table with um, student IDs, the name and the grade of the grades of the students. So um, let's start with the first one. Uh, how would we find the name of all students with an A? Can someone tell me how we would do that? Yeah, go ahead. We have to select the name uh, from that student's table subject to the condition where the, the grade's name. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, so here we select the name column over here from students, which is the, the name of the table, uh, where the grade is equal to an A. And in this case, it'll spit out the names Jonathan and Tim. So next question, how do we delete Alex's row? Students where name equals Alex. Oh, wait, star. 
No, because the star specifies what that is is it's um, a specification using the reads to specify which column names uh, you want to show.